Hey everyone, welcome back to the Strix Outdoors YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about cooking elk steak. Now this is my favorite way of cooking elk steak. It makes a perfectly cooked steak every single time, and I think you're gonna love it, so stay tuned. Okay, for this recipe, we're going to use a cooking method called sous vide. The ingredient list is very simple, but the cooking process will be much, much easier if you have a sous vide device. You can sous vide by just placing a large pot on your stovetop burner, but it's very difficult and a lot more work to get the temperature low enough and maintain it accurately. Ingredients, elk steaks, kosher salt, cracked pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and butter. The side dish for this will be Brussels sprouts. These elk steaks were previously vacuum sealed and frozen. I thawed them out slowly in the fridge, open the bag, and rinse the steaks off quickly with some water. I'm going to start by patting them dry on all sides. Next, generously sprinkle some kosher salt over the steaks. Get yourself some kosher salt from the supermarket if you don't have any. It's not the same trying to use regular table salt for this. We'll add some cracked pepper and some garlic powder. Repeat on the other side. Now we'll put these babies into a vacuum seal bag or you can use a zip top bag that's watertight. The sous vide bath is ready and set to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. This yielded a medium cooked steak. You'll want to set it to about 131 degrees if you want something more on the rare side. The bag goes into the sous vide bath and they're going to cook for two to three hours. My side dish for this meal will be roasted Brussels sprouts, which I'll prep and cook while we're waiting for the steaks. The sprouts take about 35 minutes to cook, so plan accordingly so they come out at the same time as your steaks. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I like to trim the ends off the Brussels sprouts and then cut them in half. Place the halves into an oven safe dish or a cookie sheet. I'm using some bacon fat that I've saved to coat these sprouts. You can also use butter or olive oil. Sprinkle the sprouts with some kosher salt and cracked black pepper and they're ready to go into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once they are cooked and tender, I like to face them all up and set them into the oven on broil for a few minutes just to brown them up a little bit more. Five to 10 minutes on broil will do the trick, but keep a close eye on them so they don't burn. Okay, the steaks have cooked for two hours and I'm ready to pull them out of the sous vide. You need to pat the steaks dry. I know they look terrible right now, but watch this. A propane tank and a pear burner can do some magic. Fire in the hole! Flip and repeat on the other side. Now we're gonna step it up even more. While the steaks rest for a few minutes, I'm going to take that same cast iron skillet and brown some butter. I love the smell of butter caramelizing in a skillet. I don't know about you guys. I'll add just a touch of paprika to give it a delicious amber color and froth. Next, I'll spoon this delicious mixture onto the steaks and sprouts. Man, I tell you what, it smells delicious. And now, the moment of truth, keeping it really simple, eating straight off the cutting board. Just perfectly cooked. That's delicious. Nice salty flavor. It's got a little bit of a crust from the sear. Excellent, excellent meat. This particular elk was young. I don't even, it tastes like a prime cut of meat. It tastes like a filet mignon. I, I can't even taste hardly any elk. It's just super clean, super delicious. It, you gotta try it. Let's try some of these uh, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, spot on. These little extra skins, it's almost like vegetarian crackling. Mmm. That's good. I'm Jesse with Strix Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.